Hey everyone, this is going to be a quick two-part video. First part, I'm going to announce an awesome Arduino contest sponsored by Element 14. Second part, I'm going to open this huge box of stuff that I just got from them. I'm running a contest with Element 14 this month for the best Arduino projects. So the due date is January 31st. By that date, make sure you get a video recorded of your Arduino projects. They can be ones you've already made or ones that you're making now based on the tutorial series I'm running and upload them to element14.com and also as a video response to this video. I'll show you in just a second how you can upload them to element14.com's boards. The one that gets the most votes in Element 14 by the rest of the user community will win this awesome soldering iron. It's a really great prize, uh, should be really useful for a lot of your projects. In addition to the Element 14 contest, if you upload them as a video response to this YouTube video, I'll pick some of my favorites and put them up on my channel next month after the contest has ended so everyone else can get a chance to see your projects and you'll get a bit, little bit of publicity for them hopefully. And I'll make sure I link to your channel and stuff. So it should be a lot of fun. Get your projects together. You have about three weeks to do them and maybe you've already started on one. You don't feel, have to feel like you're an expert to do this. Uh, we're really looking for something that's just cool and exciting and creative. So, you know, start thinking. Start by making an account on the Element 14 website so you can submit your video. Go to Element 14 dot com and make sure you're on the community page either log in if you're already a member or click join now to create an account follow the simple steps and create your account on element14.com once you have your account make sure you log in and then we're gonna go create a new video so go to the uh, Arduino group. So if you go to groups, see all, and search for the Arduino group, you'll find it right here. Now go to the videos tab. You should see my Arduino tutorials as the featured ones here. We'll pause that. And you can add your own. So you may or may not want to join this group. I'd suggest that you do. But once you've done that, start by creating a new video. So we're going to create a video right here. Title your video, and then just select the video for upload. This is the same file that you select to upload to YouTube. So you just click there, select the video, add a description right down here. Make sure you tag it with Arduino underscore contest so that we can find it. And that's it. You can add other tags if you want as well. But then when you're done, just hit publish and you're all set. Once everyone has their videos uploaded, remember the upload due date is January 31st, we'll be able to determine who wins the contest by whichever video has the most likes on the website. So if you go to each video, you can see that it has a rating underneath it. If you click on a particular video, they'll all be listed down here once you upload them. I can't like my own video, obviously, right now because I'm logged in. But there's this little like icon over here. And so right now, this video has four likes. Whichever video has the most likes will win the soldering iron. Okay, so this is a bunch of stuff that I ordered from Element 14, or actually it was sponsored to me by them to make these Arduino videos. So this is all stuff that I'm going to be using in future tutorials. Let's check out what's inside. First off, new toolbox for holding a bunch of these components. I always seem to run out of space on all my other ones. I have like five of these already. Um, the new Arduino Mega 2560. Not sure if we'll use that too much in the tutorial series, but we'll probably use it at some point later on. Uh, this is one XP module, which we'll be using for some wireless communications. This is another XP module. Another Arduino Uno, so that I have two of them, so we can do the wireless communications and some other forms of serial communication. Bunch of 5-volt voltage regulators, which we'll probably use later on. 
LEDs, you can never have too many LEDs. Some more uh, USB cables for the Arduinos, so I can run a bunch of them at once. I was running low. A nice new breadboard for some prototyping. Arduino Nano. This is an Arduino that gets mounted directly onto a breadboard. Some transistors, which we'll be using later on for some motors and stuff. Two XB shields so that we can put the XBs right onto the Arduino Unos. A new set of calipers, which I use to measure chips so that I can make uh, PCB designs for them. And a big old box of varied resistor sizes. That's a lot of resistors. Alright, that's all my new stuff. You'll see a bunch of it in the upcoming tutorials, and I'll see you then. Don't forget to enter into the contest, guys. Talk to you soon.